Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to another Let's Try episode of Mortal Mark. And this is Fight Night Round 4. Um, I played this way more than I did uh, Fight Night Champion. Uh, I... Greatest of all time. I was on Greatest of all time. Fucking hell. Let's go back to Pro. Yeah, fucking hell. Oof. There we go. That's better. Smash him. So now that's out of the way, let's get on with the fine. So what I wanted to do, because I've got all the DLCs for this, including I think there's like a bare knuckle boxing thing, I think. I want to have a few matches, but this is where it gets good. We've uh, obviously I've had some created. Uh, that's someone I made. Fuck Boyd, Blubber Head, Pumpkin Head, Clubber Lang. Which, by the way, I downloaded and looks nothing like Mr. T. Ivan Drago, Clubber Lang again. Captain Hornblower, Rocky Balboa, Rocky One, Iron Shark, Ivan Drago again. Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa again. So we're going to go as Rocky. And we're going to go against Ivan Drago. Because someone created him. Uh, this is not me who created him. It's, um. In boxer ratings. Fucking hell. And here we go, so we're going to go against Ivan Drago as Rocky Balboa, but this time it's Fight Night style. There is one feature on this that I really wish they kept a Fight Night Champion, and it's the repair. Like when you earn points, you can spend the points how you want, and I think that's brilliant. When we get to it, I'll explain further what I mean. Of course, it's been ages since I played Fight Night Round 4. Oof. Everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MG. Graphic is still amazing. The Vegas Strip, Fucking hell. Here in this much anticipated fight, and we are underway with round number one. If you're the well rounded fighter in a matchup like this against the real heavy hitter, I'm assuming the last thing you want to do, even though throughout your career you have. So, you, you got the well, block, you, you got stamina, and you got health. Record, is to engage him in the only kind of fight he can win. Yeah, don't go down to his level is what the old timers would say. You know that you can win so many ways. Why go into a place that is the only place he has a chance? You're actually doing pretty good. Fundamentals, good Never mind. Look at the size difference. Well. Banking away those body shots. Fucking hell. Away. It was targeted and in terms of blocking as well, by the way, I should probably explain. Um, it's not like an automatic block. You actually have to pick where you want to block. Which does make it a bit more strategic. There it is! A well-targeted hook landed by the greatest! Shit! through this round we can see some swelling now around his eyes good block Ooh. the dragon's opponent has to be looped in on this I mean everybody knows that he's standing opposite a bleeder a guy who cuts yeah I'm sure that he does know that but you know that can work against you because you start putting in your head that I'm going out there I'm going to cut my opponent Fuck. then you're saying I'm going to have an easy night then you're not ready for a tough night. You always have to be ready in whatever you do for a tough night. Well, nowadays we have so Definitely many a harder match to have. Now with all the 
Well, I used to play this religiously back in the day. I used to play it for like at least two hours a day um, after school and on weekends and shit. It was crazy. I was obsessed with it. An alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're gonna go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now all of a sudden they're gonna be a light heavyweight. They're gonna be a super middleweight. Where with a little discipline, Jesus they Christ. fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't make it. Now you make it so easy, they don't want to make it. Oh! You could have. He's broken my ribs for that one. I think. Fuck me. Work it. Work it quick. Work it. Stun quick. Shit. Yeah, I'll give it a bit of time for you guys to read that, and then I'll explain it if you guys don't understand. Anyways. But look, I've got 26 points. Shows you the reasons why you got their points. So I can play skip. I'm going to save for the next round. I'm going to play. And I'm going to recover some damage. And I'm going to do 10 points to that. And then 12 points to stamina. And that's it. We'll leave it there. So here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round... He got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that. Oh, fuck me. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. The blocking system is a lot more complex, and it's, in my opinion, better, because you have to really think more. About what you're gonna do. Power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry Ooh, about shoot. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not gonna be around to worry. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Fuck me, he's pummeling me. Get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, fuck. Oof. Shit. Halfway through round number two. Well done that time, landing the counter. Punch. Oh god, I'm low on stamina. He got hit, but he sends it right back. The dragon's able to avoid that punch. Parries that punch away. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Oh, fuck. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful oh, shit. uppercut by the greatest. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Come on. Damage recovery. Yeah. And round number three is underway. Do it again. 
not able to land the headshot. Just missed with that punch. The tactical game uh, off. You can come see on. Ah. Yeah, you see the counterpunch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, I'm not going to do Balboa's uh, strategy. We just take a million hits to the face and then just try and fight back. I'm going to blow. Lock, 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 ow. Oh god. Dragon stunned and he is hurt. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's bumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight on the ropes. This is one time he probably needs to be on the ropes just to steady him and then move his head a little bit. That might be his only shot. Well struck, solid combination by the greatest. Fuck me. This is hard. Whoa. through a guy's mind at this stage of a fight where I think you can clearly see that he's tired. You know, that's the right question. Not enough is going through his mind. He's not concentrating, not concentrating on the things that he was earlier, not remembering what it is that he has to be doing at all times. The Dragon's got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. <laughs> Oh, and there you go. What a solid hook to the body by the greatest. Missed the body shot. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Whoa. In the next round, we might have to take it easy and just let him wear himself out a bit. Wow, is he defensively sound? So the end of the round. Oof. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly right. out there. And the There's best blood dripping do down the side of my head a little bit. Why he got but it's not on the what eyes, so it's not too with? bad. Where's the blood for him, though? He's got a tiny gash under his eye. Under both eyes. underway of course in that last round it was fairly one-sided he was hit pretty hard and now he has to overcome that here yeah you don't have to be no to Thomas to know that I mean everybody saw you know he got staggered his knees buckled did a little dance there but what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately oh god <laughs> Much energy. If you're gonna wear yourself oh. down this much, throwing this many punches, 
Don't you want it to harm your opponent? This isn't working out for him. Well, Joe, a lot of times in the ring, it's not what you think it is. You see a guy throwing a lot of punches, you think it's because he's confident. He's a guy that just wants to walk in there and he wants to be in your kitchen all night. I think it's the opposite sometimes, and right now is a good example of that. He's not sure of himself. And he's oh, just fuck. playing away because he's excited. He is really panicking. Right now, you're not seeing a confident guy going in there just throwing punches. You're seeing a guy panicking. Come on. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A huge uppercut by the greatest. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. We're doing a bit better this round. We're not throwing as many punches. making a few opening statements here the jab has spoken loudly for him yeah it has spoken loudly what it's told his opponent but uh, he's gonna walk in you're not coming into my house it's gonna be hard i got a couple locks a couple padlocks on here Come on, come on. So here we are at the end of the round. And this is the only chance Fuck these me, guys get it? to not throw at each other. Yeah, this is a break. You know, a lot of times fighters find their own way of taking break during the fight, during the round. These guys really need this minute rest. Round number five. That's just been pretty arrived. good. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. Oh, here we go. Short. They're together. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Just knifing up with that uppercut by the greatest. The dragon's got a way of just getting away from that punch. It never ceases to amaze me the effect that body blows can have on a fighter. Because I'm looking at him right now, Teddy. And he's running low on energy. He looks so fatigued just from absorbing body punch. Yeah, if you were a baker, you don't mind me making you a baker for a second. That sounds you. good. <laughs> you know, and, and you leave a pie in the oven too long, it doesn't look too good. Well, you know, you take too many body shots, you don't look too good. He doesn't look too good right now. You know, he's, he's overcooked. Oh, shit. Locks the headshot. Wow! Razor sharp left hand by the greatest. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot. Ooh. And then comes back. Uh, with oh, God. Yeah. Oh, he can't hit me. Oh, he can't hit me. Oh, 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 oh my God, I'm rope it over again. I'm rope it over again. A frick. Uh oh. He has to 
I'm gonna go to heaven. I'm gonna go to heaven. I'm gonna go to heaven. The swelling's getting really bad. How does he do that? How does he shore up that defense? Well, Farzan boy's got to stop moving that head. He's standing too straight up. If he gets a little head movement, a lot of those punches that are landed, they'll start going over the shoulder. We come to the end of this round and likely a much needed break for these two warriors because they have been non-stop. No, they don't know how to fight any other way. They came in, they introduced themselves Ooh. in the middle of the ring and they've been there, Ooh, there all night. <laughs> what guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been non-stop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Trying to get right up against his chest there, it seems. But you know what? It's working out well. Teddy, I guess they wanted it. Look at this action going right out there, wasting no time. No, these guys are impatient. They couldn't wait to get at each other. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing oh the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Doing so come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I was trying, you know, to be honest, I, I don't think we're gonna last much longer. It's gonna be tough right now. First of all, he's gotta stop telegraphing all his punches, but that's something that takes time. And if anyone says I was the exact same as Final Night Champion, it really fucking isn't. Wow, wow, what it's more complex, I would say. where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say tune in everybody should be watching this right i have a cell phone i might do that right now <laughs> start dialing <laughs> the greatest got to deal with it uh oh, uh -oh. The greatest is oh down to top and gets to him hammering the head <laughs> The get up system is pretty much the exact same. Oh, not good. He's going for the kill here. You can tell he wants to end this fight right now. Should he be a little more patient? Yeah, exactly, Joe. You know, because this is a spot where, where you can get to the guy, but you can get a little reckless, and all of a sudden the guy can catch you, turn it around a little bit. Don't get carried away. Set up the shot. Targeted counter punch by the greatest. Come on. Oh, and there you go. Razor sharp left hand by the greatest. Yes. That round. And the knockdown Ooh. was scored. Now, Teddy. The fighter who Read more stamina. Scored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach him? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just oh. roll up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. What do you think the right time is to stop a fight under circumstances like this? I mean, the swelling around the eye is getting really bad. Well, part of it is he getting caught with blood. Oh, God. Please, come on. Please, I need this. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. Damn it! Needs to be before any more time goes by. I was so fucking close. Off the mark. Oh, 
A well-placed left hand by the greatest. And now he's working well on the inside. Teddy, so much work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. Crap. No, this guy doesn't Crap. his head. The old time would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Oh God. The dragon's in a position. Oh, uh -oh. Clinch. Clinch. Ah, oh, damn it. Again he goes down. Can he survive this? Look at that. Bang. 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 Look at that ferocious hit he just did. I mean, fucking hell, you know? <laughs> Shit. Right uh oh. Oh, oh. I'm dead. He's down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. My face is fucked. There we are. Teddy, do you think he can go on much longer here? No, he's going to need to grab a little bit. Take a little time off that clock. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, he pushed me way down. Oh, God. Shit! Oh god, we got up at eight. We got up at eight. He gets up after that knockdown, but I don't like the way he looks. Looks like he's on spaghetti. Oh god! The ah, crowd. right. Can you believe that? He was saved. By the belt. Teddy, you've been in a spot like this before as a trainer. Right now, you know what? What do you spend time on? Oh. You want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot, why he got hit. But first, you got to make sure he revives. You got to get him clear minded. You got to get his senses back first. He was stunned and staggered moments ago. It's probably the longest one of my matches actually have ever gone. Yeah, some guys take a little longer to recover. One of his strangers, he recovers real fast. <laughs> Nice block by the greatest. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. We got a fighter oh who was knocked down earlier, who, as you can see, is still going about his business the exact same way. Let's turn the tables a bit. If you're opposite that fighter. What do you want to do? What you want to do is just keep going to hate. You know that old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, he's giving it to you. Oh, the greatest is in a Oh, God. Place Incoming. Right Incoming. Ow, ow. To the body, and he is down and in bad shape. One, two, I'm fucked. Three, I can't get up. I'm fucked. <laughs> Shit! Damn it, damn it, damn it, god fucking damn it. That is it, this fight is over. The dragon's gonna have a Oh get get the hearse. Just get the fucking hearse. I'm dead. The ten count reach his opponent out. He's the victor. The dragon's your winner by impressing. Shit, I won the third round. Point wise. He won the other rounds. Shit. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessator. Have yourself that was a good match, though. Well, five knockdowns it took to get rid of Balboa. Oh, God. The immense power of Drago, though. It's insane.
Uh, let's have a look. We are going to go with Captain Hornblower's face. Now is this the bare knuckle one? If not, I'll back out and we'll, we'll do something else. But Oh, that's clinch! Oh! Ah! <laughs> uh, fuck! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Shit. Yeah, yeah. God fucking damn it. Good evening everybody, Joe Tessitore. When you get a fight like this. Yeah, this isn't it. I swear I downloaded the bare knuckle thing. Uh No, I don't legacy mode. Training, training videos. My media. Oh, I honestly thought I had the bare knuckle thing on it. Oh, that's so cool. You can actually do all the ring rivalries. We'll have to do that at some point. I so I did. I guess maybe I didn't. Hmm. Anyways, I'll leave that match for there anyways. But in the next video, we'll do a few more dip bits and pieces. Might even do some legendary fights. Uh, or old school rivalries, as it's called. But thanks for your time, as always. See you in the next instalment. Try for now.